Hello friends and welcome back to my beautiful garden guys. It is early morning and I said I'll have a look into the garden. Previous few days were like crazy busy and I couldn't put up a video. So I thought I'll make it up uh, now and record some new growth that is happening in the garden. This is a new leaf that I see of an anthurium and I definitely think there is a snail because I got this new leaf with a hole so I have to like really check on the plant and the pot and try to locate that snail. This is an anthurium that I have. This is an anthurium watermelon seed. I don't know why it's giving me those dots but the new leaf is so perfectly fine and very glossy as well. I like the shape and also the length of it. Uh, this is my uh, philodendron Mexicanum, uh, which is like a recent purchase. It's doing well in the garden. And this is the one that I had unboxed a variegated plant recently, and it has given me this new white leaf. Next to it is my Imperium Pedatoriatum, uh, which is like a twin plant because got those twin shoots and they are maturing. This is another Enturium uh, Crystallinum which is a hybrid perhaps doing well as well. And here again is another Caladium uh, Lindenii. I don't know is there something wrong with my garden. There's a lot of my new leaves that are coming in this deformed shape. I don't know whether it is humidity that was affecting it but now Goa is really cool and the weather is absolutely beautiful so I think now my plants are going to do much better than what they were doing during the summer also I'll uh, share a new purchase that I have done this is my variegator ring of fire which I just got delivered yesterday uh, it got delayed because I was not at home and then the courier guy couldn't get in touch with me. So it came to Goa and was at the courier shop for the last three days. And in this process I lost like three leaves. Uh, but never mind, uh, here it is finally in my hand. I did not pot it, like I got it yesterday night, I did not transfer it yet to a new Pot because I found the soil in which it came was completely wet so I want the dry, uh, roots to dry out a little before I transfer. Beautiful plant, little disappointed because I was expecting a bigger size and this is the predatory atom which I want to show you and I should also show you my paraiso where the year it is and the new leaf is little deformed I don't know why I was praising this plant like anything and then now it gives me this leaf that is deformed. I don't know what to say and this is the Enturium plant that I had shown that was giving out berries so I will remove them because I don't want to waste them and let them fall in some pots and grow if they are strong enough so I'll harvest them as well. So it's pretty easy you just have to get the berries off from this patty and here they are uh, next thing that you have to do is like uh, remove the mushiness or the outer cover to it and you'll have a seed inside you'll have to dry it out or wipe it to a tissue paper and then from there you can directly transfer it to a moss and cover it like have this trapped humidity and then it's absolutely easy. This is how my garden is looking this Sunday morning. I know it's an absolute mess. I decided to clean it up today afternoon but I don't think because I have other things on mine. Uh, this is a fillet painted mykins or mykins that is like just running about wild and I'm absolutely fine with it because suddenly I see this leaf popping up and I'm like happy. My garden is in need of a real makeover. I don't know when that's going to happen. This is a Philippine 69686. Doing well, giving me new leaf on a regular basis. This is a mame. This is a radiator. 
there is a chia fence that it's raining uh, this is how it's looking please do not judge me on how my plants are looking i don't think they are looking their finest best so i'm going to end this video with this beautiful plant thank you so much for watching bye